you got knocked the fuck out! Hello YouTube, this is the Badass Mojo, and today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be making a build video in Might, which is a third-person MOBA for those of you who play Warframe and watch my content. This is a third-person MOBA where you get to pick a hero, kind of like a Warframe, and you get to fight other uh, heroes over different types of game modes. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to build Hero, or the god called Ra. He is one of my mains. He's, I would say, my third main. I have over seven or eight stars with him. In total, I've been playing this game ever since Paragon got shut down, which was my first MOBA. So I have a bit of experience. I'm no expert, but I would like to say I have a bit of knowledge. So I'm going to be sharing a build with you guys. For those of you who do like to play raw and want to increase your damage numbers, here is a build that you can try out. It's very simple and it will easily get you free kills, in my opinion, because it's just that good. Starting off, I'm going to go to the item shop and show you guys the relics I pick. The first relic I pick is Medi, and don't laugh at me. I, I know Medi's been like a joke since like the beginning of times, but I like Medi. I've ever used, I like, I don't use any other relics other than Medi and Aegis, like ever. I'm, I hardly remember using any other relic ever since I've been playing, and I've been playing for like over 1500 hours. So Medi, because I like Medi, you can pick whatever you want. First item I usually go for is Spear of Desolation which increases your cooldown, gives you penetration, and makes you lose more cooldown on assist. This because I can spam my ultimate and try to get a kill and get ahead of the enemy. So first item is Spear of Desolation. Second item boning. is very close to it, Spear of Magus, which increases my damage on my second ability, or every second ability. So basically this is a item that increases your damage on enemies that are marked by your damage. So if you if you damage an uh, enemy god, they take bonus damage, plus 7%, or 7.5%. This is a really good item for Ra because he can use his combo, which oh, wow. is the like um, his square and ultimate combo. Right, and if the square hits before the ultimate, it does 7% more damage, or 7.5% uh, more damage. As you can see, this is already a lot of damage. I'm only level 5, just to show you guys what this damage numbers are going to look like, so you guys can have an idea of what I'm talking about. Third item is a picker, I would say. You can pick between more cooldowns so you can spam more ultimates. Or if you think you can wait for your ultimate, you can get the Rod of Tahuti, which does increase your damage by another 25%. Only if they're below 50% health, which I like because I can guarantee my landing oh, indeed, with my ultimate on most of the time uh, whenever I see an enemy low, below, I'll say 75% health. Because with my square, I can bring them down to 50%. With my ultimate, I can just kill them because of that bonus 25% damage. Fourth item, I usually get the Kronos Pendant because I need more cooldown and I want to spam my ult and combo over and over again. Oh, wow. Uh, like fifth item could be whatever item you like. If you like to play support, you can put, um, play a defense item. Or I like to do it, what I like to do is get obsidian shards so I could even have more damage because of the penetration effect on it. You can have whatever item you like. If you feel like there's more tanks on the enemy team, you can have this item. If you feel like there's more healing, you can have divine ruin. It's up to you. I like to go for this item because I like to hit those big damage Time numbers to do some owning. and that's just my personal preference again it's up to you every game is different and you can play however you want but these are the items i usually use and my last item is a starter item which i only buy at the end because i feel like i can save the gold to get the spear distillation and get it faster and have more damage or and have a higher damage number than the enemy end up killing them beforehand so the item i'm going to be picking is the Sacrificial Shroud, which increases my damage by another 15%, the cost of 5% of my health. This is good because at the end of the game, you can only buy this at level 20. Health does not matter. Like, I would say your health doesn't matter because you can heal with Ra's heal. Uh, thankfully, he does have a heal. Um, you can just use it to heal yourself back up. But that 15% increase is just major, major damage because of the amount of damage his ultimate does at the end. It does even, like, it's it's ridiculous amount of numbers comparison to other damage numbers, or other uh, oh, wow. items in the game, like or see. other gods in the game. So, I'm going to just show you guys what this build can do. I mean, obviously, I'm full build, and a bot would not stand a chance. So, I'll just go to level 20, and just to show you guys what this item build can do. 
So I'm gonna upgrade my levels. Um, the bots are level 20 now. This is just to show you guys what type of damage numbers you're gonna be looking at. Obviously this is practice, so you'll probably say something like, oh, this is practice, you can do this. It's easier to land abilities in this game. I will show you gameplay of me actually doing this. I usually get a power pot. I mean, I'll show you without the power pot, because in arena sometimes before you even get to the power pod the game ends because depending on how fast you're playing or how good you are uh, enemies usually surrender or they run out of tickets but i think most of the times i get to the power pot level i never get to the um elixir potions because the game never lasts that long but if it does then again hey it's bonus damage and i always love bonus damage so i'll show you guys what a level 20 neat bot would look like my lasers are hitting for almost 1200 damage and my ultimate is hitting if i could hit it it's gonna kill this bot let me reset my ultimate and reset some cooldowns okay um Again, there's no stacking items. You can have stacking items on top of that damage that I'm having, but I feel like this is enough damage to kill most of the gods. Unless it's like conquest and there's, you know, super tanks. Uh, in that case, you'll need to want to build some help, uh, stacking items so you could have a standing, like a chance to fight them. But this is what my ultimate does at max health. Nice. <laughs> Over seven, almost 1700 damage, which is a lot. In my opinion, 1700 damage is a lot, uh, to a hunter. They're usually, their health bar is usually, I would say, around 2000 health at the end game. And with the combo, I would easily destroy this person. Like, I mean, nice. my I ultimate is hitting time. for over almost 2000 damage. This is before the power pot, and depending on how much ahead you are you can even hit harder because the enemies the enemy's armor scales with their level so you can be above them a few levels and hit even harder i'll show you guys what it does to a tank uh this is a level 20 no items tank obviously which is not good but i would say around 30 or 40 percent damage is going to be reducted or i would say I mean, ha even if half of the damage gets reducted, that is still a lot of damage, as you can see. Half of 1700, or, let's see, half of 1700 is, let's see how much it is, 900 damage. So you can spam your ultimate for 900 damage on a tank, even if they mitigate 50% of your damage. And I mean 50%, that is half of your damage. And if they don't build any defense, as most people do in Arena, Arena is just a brawl basically, you can destroy almost everything with just your ultimate. This is before the Power Pot or the Elixir Power, uh, or before the items effect from this uh, Rata Tahuti. As you can see, this is just ridiculous damage. You'll see that it's it's not even fair. I'll show you guys what it does with, with the Power Pot. If your laser hits before your ultimate, that's another 25% more damage. It's a guaranteed kill on most enemy gods. It's ridiculous. And I just wanted to show you guys how to build a raw as I do because I do play him a lot and I feel like I have a bit of experience. And I usually have really good games with raw depending on how many healers they have. Most of the times my enemies are healers and I don't like healers at all and I usually end up dying a lot to them so i mean if they don't have healers it doesn't matter if they have tanks or super tanks i'm gonna shred through the enemies with that being said hopefully you guys enjoy this build thanks for watching let me know in the comments below what you guys think and uh who's your favorite god you guys have a wonderful day peace and justice and all that good stuff bye, -bye.